Good morning, clock house. And it's Tuesday again already, and here I am with this week's virtual newsletter. So, where do we start? Well, can you believe we're coming to the end of the spring term? We've got today, tomorrow, and Thursday in school, and then the children finish Thursday, and then obviously staff are in Friday for staff training. Then we've got two weeks off, and we're back to school on Tuesday, the 19th of April. It's hard to believe. Shame the weather isn't as lovely as it was last week, but hopefully it will get better for the holidays. Um, so a few thank yous to start with. Thank you to you all for um, sending the money in for the Mother's Day sale and supporting Oka. And thank you to Oka for obviously hosting it and buying all the different bits and pieces. And I hope you all had a lovely Mother's Day um, for those who were celebrating. Um, and um, yeah, so a huge thank you for making that happen. And I know the children loved it and were very positive about it. Um, and obviously we couldn't do anything like that without Oka. As I've told you before, a big date for Oka is the 9th of July, which will see the summer fate coming back. So get that in your diaries. Um, I think it's 11 till three, roughly time-wise. Um, and we'll be advertising for that when we come back from the holidays. On the note of Oka, on Thursday, we have reached for the egg. Um, so if you send in your coins, um, children can bring them in as many as you want or as few as you want. And the line, when the coins are lined up edge to edge, the line that gets closest to the egg for each class wins the Easter egg. Um, so it'll be lovely, just a bit of fun to end the term for you to take part in or for the children to take part in. Um, Few other things that we are currently working on, um, obviously with restrictions gradually lifting, or re restrictions lifting, sorry, and things changing and us getting used to living with COVID, um, we are going to be looking to going back to using time to eat our canteen after the summer holidays. Um, it's gonna be slightly different because I think we've learned a lot through the pandemic about ensuring that the children get a very good play experience with Opal and such at lunchtime. So we won't necessarily be going back to everybody out in the playground and we're currently working on finalising a plan as to how we can manage it with the canteen in use and the crunchies and ensuring the children get a good play experience for their well-being. Um, so look out for that, but we will be going back to a three choice menu. So that is coming out um, probably today, the menu for after the holidays. What it does mean though, the fact that we're going back to three choices is that there won't be the option for a school packed lunch. I know that will not be very good for some people, but the majority of people do have hot dinners and it is important that we provide that dinner for the children. I know a few, or quite a few of you have asked us to look into the option of halal meat, um, and that is something I'm currently working on with the local authority. As many of you know, we are not responsible for our catering. That is havering, so we can't make those choices and changes as easily as if we were responsible for the catering service. So if you do have any questions about that, please come and speak to me. Um, we will be doing making some other changes in school um, in the summer term, and we're very hopeful that we'll be having you into school. So watch this space. Um, some exciting news for Year 6 coming out this week. Look out for the letter from Miss Kearns um, about some, some, extra, some extra lessons, but also some, some rewards for coming to those extra lessons in the preparation for SAT, which are quite quick after the, um, after the Easter holiday. Other than that, all that leaves me to say is have a great Easter, enjoy a rest, enjoy the chocolate, and just a huge, huge thank you for myself, from the senior leadership team, from the staff team, from the governors, for everything you do to support us and being fabulous. Have a good day, Clock Girls, and I'll see you on the gate very soon. Take care. Bye.